medical watch to sit or stand. Medical reporter Dina Baer has more on an option for cardiac stress test. It's designed to help doctors evaluate the strength and structure of the heart muscle. But patients may be surprised when they go in for a cardiac stress test and expect to step on a treadmill. Instead, doctors sit them down for an injection. Knowing which test is best for you is critical. Every patient that gets a stress test gets hooked up to an EKG machine. That's step one. Electrodes go on the chest. The main reason is to look for blockages to see if people are at risk of having a heart attack. Step two, step on the treadmill. The first three minutes are slow, and I think you're going to be North Shore fine. University Health System cardiologist Dr. David Naiman walked us through the process of a typical exercise stress test. But there's an alternative, what's called a chemical or pharmacological stress test. Doctors have two drug options. Both are delivered through an IV. One medication makes the heart beat faster and stronger to simulate exercise. The other is called a vasodilator. It expands normal arteries. When there's a blockage, doctors can see the narrowing on imaging, all while the patient is at rest in the lab. Some institutions probably do more chemical or pharmacologic stresses than they should because it is easier and you get patients quicker in and out of the lab. Not so fast, says Dr. Naiman. Make sure you get the right test for you. For the most part, if somebody can't exercise, we want people to exercise and get on a treadmill. Even if you have symptoms during exertion. If those patients are exercising on their own, not in the healthcare facility, not hooked up to an EKG machine, not with a cardiologist and the nurse standing next to them, and not with a defibrillator just next to where the treadmill is, their exercise in an outside environment is giving the patient a higher risk than the risk would be here on a treadmill. If that patient had a drug test, didn't get on a treadmill and didn't have symptoms and the pictures are normal, that doesn't exclude the fact that that patient may be pushing themselves harder than what the drug was able to do. So when is a chemical stress test best? Patients with orthopedic conditions like knee or hip problems, an enlarged aorta, or those who wheeze may not be able to physically boost their heart rate, a critical factor for proper evaluation. Patients who can't exercise or we would make them worse from an orthopedic standpoint by doing an exercise stress test and pushing them too hard, those patients we may put on a treadmill slowly but do a chemical stress just while they walk on this slowly for five or six minutes. Advocate for yourself and ask questions to make sure you get the right test for you. And we'll often change what was ordered so it's better for the patient. High-risk patients typically receive supplemental imaging during a stress test, like an ultrasound of the heart, which increases accuracy of that stress test. EKGs alone are about 70% accurate, meaning three out of 10 people who have normal EKGs actually have heart problems. Back to you.